Hello, my boss fit chicks. If y'all caught that, I came up with a name for y'all. I love boss fit chicks. So hello, my boss fit chicks. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, The Dun Elizabeth. And I was gonna take y'all to the gym with me while I did upper body, but instead I recorded and talked you guys through a upper body you could do at your gym. So if you have been confused on what workouts to do to shape and grow muscle in your upper body. Do this workout right here. So, of course, you want to warm up first. I will leave a link below to a Google Doc that will show you the my daily warm-up that I do for a full body. Either if it's upper body or lower body, you can perform this warm-up before any workout. Remember, it's going to be in the details below. Each exercise, I mean, each warm-up exercise will be hyperlinked. So, make sure you just look at the videos before. So, that way, when you get in the gym, you already know the warm-up that you're going to perform. Once again, it will be in the details below. So the first thing that you want to do is, of course, warm up. The second thing you want to do is turn on some music. Put your headphones on and tune out and get ready to turn up, okay? Because we're about to get into this upper body and we're about to tone that upper body. And remember, most important way to get the physique that you're going for is to make sure that nutrition is your main tool. I know we have discussed this before, but if you're looking to lose some body fat, you need to be in a caloric deficit. If you're looking to pick up some muscle, you need to be in a caloric surplus. So that's just the basis. All right, so the first move I did was barbell bench press. So with this move, you always want to do a warm-up set. With this warm-up set, you want to start with 10 reps just to bar by itself. If you're not comfortable with doing a barbell bench press, you could do a decline bench press, which will be performed from the floor. So I'll show you both of these variations, a barbell bench press and then a decline bench press. So what you want to perform with all your exercises and all your workouts is progressive overload. And one way, and the two ways to do that is either to do more sets of the same reps or increase your weight each set with perfect form so no ego lifting if you feel like you can't get your form right while you're doing then you don't need to increase stay at the same weight or just do more sets so for the barbell bench press you're going to perform two sets of 10 and two sets of eight so it'll be four sets it will be no superset which means if you don't know what a superset is a superset is when you perform two exercises back to back without a break in between so no superset you're going to perform this exercise on its own you're going to take about a one minute and 15 second break in between each set just to give your muscles time to relax so that you can come back with the same strength for the next set remember if you can increase with good form take that weight up baby because it will only benefit you now, the second set I did is going to be Dumbbell Z-Press, Super Set with Lateral Raise into Front Raise. So, I didn't record Lateral Raise into Front Raise, but I'll show y'all a video of that as well. So, for the Dumbbell Z-Press, you want to make sure you keep your legs together. I know it feels so much more comfortable. If you try to do this exercise at the gym, it's going to feel so much comfo comfortable to have your legs wide open. But to keep your core engaged, we're going to bring our legs together. And try to keep your core stabilized. Make sure you practice good breathing. Inhale, exhale on the way up. So, you want to be pushing out at the same time. <sighs> That's how I should be. <sighs> Tightening up your core each rep. So for the Z press, I did eight reps, and then we're gonna superset it with lateral raise into front waist for 12 reps total. So two reps. And then you're gonna take another one minute and 15 second break in between that as well. You're gonna complete four sets of that. So remember, the dumbbell Z press is gonna be eight reps. The lateral raise into front raise is gonna be 12 reps total. All right, now we're moving on. So then the next set that you're going to do is a tricep so this tricep is going to be pull-ups single arm cable rolls and cable face pulls okay so i didn't get no footage of the face pulls but i'm going to insert a similar video so that you guys can see how to perform it so we're going to do assisted pull-ups for 12 reps so what i mean by assisted if you have a gym most nine times out of ten your gym has a pull-up machine so when you look at the machine and try to determine like how can i use this as assistance 
the heavier you go, the more weight it is being used to assist you to pull up. So the lighter you go, the more weight, the more of your weight that you're pulling. Of course, over time, the more you do the pull-ups, the easier they will become. This particular video, I'm using resistance bands. So if you do not have an assisted pull-up machine, you can also use resistance bands. Do not be afraid to add by four, five, six bands on that if you need it to give you that assistance because that's going to help you get up. And over time, the more you pull yourself up, the more strength you will gain. So we're going to do 12 pull-ups. Then we're going to go straight into single arm cable rows for 12 on each side. On these single arm cable rows, you want to make sure... That's something in my eye, y'all. It's killing me. On these single arm cable rows, you want to make sure that you're leaning into the row and bringing that elbow as close as possible to your side, squeezing that lat on every rip. Same thing that follows for each and every exercise that I've mentioned. If you can increase the weight with good form, go up. So you're going to do 12 on each side and make sure that your the opposite knee is up for the rows. And then the last thing you're going to do is 12 cable face pulls. When you're doing the face pulls, you want to make sure you're pulling and squeezing the top. You want to squeeze at the top for about two seconds for each rep. So whenever you're doing exercise, you don't want to just speed through it and hurry up and get it over with. You want to be able to pause, give those muscles time to engage that mind to muscle connection and make sure that what we're trying to hit is being activated on each and every rep. Now, once you finish those three exercises, you're going to take another one minute and 15 second break, and you're going to do three rounds of this. So, the first two sets that we had, we did four rounds. So, with this one, you're going to do three rounds. All right? Which moves me into the last set. The last set is super duper simple and cute, but it will burn. The last set, you're going to do three sets of 15 bicep curls. So, you can either use dumbbells, a cable machine, a long barbell. For those bicep curls, you're going to do 15 of those, and then you're going to superset it with tricep pushdowns. You can use a flat bar, you can use the rope, anything that can help you engage those triceps, and you're going to do 15 of those as well. Three sets of 15 bicep curls, three sets of 15 tricep pushdowns, and you're going to take a one-minute break in between each set. So a couple other tips that I want to give you is when I say the amount of break time in between, Set the timer as soon as you finish your last rep. And when that timer goes off, you need to get up and start your, your next set. That break time is vital. It gives you time to recover. It gives you time to rest. But you don't want to take advantage of it. Don't be lollygagging. You want to train with intensity. So if you go in the gym and you only got 45 minutes to work out, you want to make sure that whole 45 minutes you putting in as much work as you can. Have your allocated break times. But once your break time is over, get your behind up. All right? So, with that being said, I hope this upper body workout is going to be useful. I hope y'all go and try it. And if you do go and try it, go ahead and leave in the comments below what you think about the workout. And once again, there are modifications for each and every workout. And one more reminder, do not ego lift. Do not try to go up on your weight if you cannot keep the same form. Like, we want to focus on form before we focus on trying to increase and then the form just all over the place. Because that's how we lead to injury. And we want to be able to train for longevity, not train to hurt ourselves. That's not the goal. So, y'all already know that you're your boss fit chicks. Tell me how y'all like that name. I hope y'all like that name. But... But with that being said, boss fit chicks, y'all already know the drill. Make sure y'all try that upper body workout out and come back and mess with your girl. Peace out.